I think the, the, the main topic of conversation this year seems to be about big ships. Um, that probably came up last year, but um, it really seems to be a theme that's running through everything. Um, what we're not talking about this year, well, so far in terms of conversations I've been having, is, is congestion, which is, I think, um, a factor of the fact that we're, we're here in Europe rather than um, on the west coast of the US. Our um, big project is our Liverpool 2 container terminal, which opens in December of this year, and that'll be really a, a game changer for, for the UK logistics um, and supply chain. And what we're offering there is an ability for importers and exporters in the UK to have a very um, more direct and efficient route to market um, for their goods, that's imports and exports. So you know, the benefits that'll bring um, um, to the supply chain is, you know, we think of it as the, the three C's of reduced costs, um, reduced congestion, and reduced carbon footprint. Well, for, for many, many years, terminal operators have been talking about the extent to which they extend their services beyond the terminal gate. And I think now with the advent of large ships, um, with additional pressure from um, BCOs, beneficial cargo owners, freight forwarders and so on, um, to get those, those boxes to and from their origins and destinations, it's even more important that, that, that collaboration actually happens. So um, what we see at, at Peel Port is that we're talking increasingly with, um, with end users. Um, we're understanding um, what their needs are and we're taking a very collaborative approach and, and setting, setting up things like strategic partnerships with certain end users um, and um, potentially forwarders um, to make sure that that, act, that actually can deliver a more efficient supply chain.